Hello, I'm Witske Fokkens, the senior author of this Euphoria EPOS 2020 statement on the clinical considerations for chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyp care. This Euphoria document provides an expert panel overview of the indications, criteria, contraindications, expected outcomes and specific considerations of the five major treatment arms of severe uncontrolled chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps, oral corticosteroids, primary sinus surgery, revision sinus surgery, biological treatment and aspirin treatment after desensitization. The use of short courses of systemic corticosteroids is an important tool in the treatment of severe chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps due to their potent anti-inflammatory effects. Systemic corticosteroids are an inexpensive and globally available treatment with effective reduction of nasal polyp size and rapid improvement of major sinonasal symptoms such as nasal obstruction, loss of smell and nasal discharge in both short and long-term treatment. Unfortunately, the effects of systemic corticosteroids wane shortly after ending treatment and in view of significant systemic side effects observed with repeated short or long-term courses, they are not recommended for maintenance treatment nor for more than two courses per year. Primary endoscopic sinus surgery is indicated for severe unilateral or bilateral chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyp symptoms that persist or recur despite treatment with nasal rinsing, intranasal corticosteroids, and usually one or more courses of systemic steroids within the preceding two years. The primary goals of endoscopic sinus surgery in chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps are to remove the diseased mucosa, including nasal polyps, facilitate the delivery of intranasal corticosteroids to the sinuses, in turn reducing the inflammatory burden of the disease and improving the outcomes of post-endoscopic sinus surgery medical treatment with the expected outcome of improvement of overall sinonasal symptoms. Primary endoscopic sinus surgery provides effective relief and a good control of symptoms in the majority of the patients. However, in a small percentage of the patients, the nasal polyps and symptoms recur. The goals of revision endoscopic sinus should be carefully determined and may include the removal of obstructing polyps, addressing any residual anatomical issues that may contribute to the recurrence, such as scar tissue or insufficiently open sinuses, or the presence of complications such as mucosal formation. In the shared decision-making process, clinicians and their patients must consider symptomatology, the goals of the revision surgery, the impact of the surgery on the patient, including the potential for an increased risk of intraoperative complications, and the postoperative compliance to anti-inflammatory treatment and the chronicity of the disease. Aspirin treatment after desensitization, ATAD, is a specialized procedure designed to induce tolerance to aspirin and NSIADs in aspirin uh, NARD patients. It involves the gradual administration of increasing doses of aspirin under controlled conditions until the patient reaches a therapeutic dose. The Euphoria and EPOS 2020 expert panel advises considering ATAD in patients with bilateral chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps with comorbid asthma and a history of aspirin or NSID intolerance, especially when there is a need for aspirin antiplatelet therapy or NSAID treatment for chronic inflammatory conditions. ATAD is a therapy with low direct cost and a significant effect on patients' quality of life, total nasal symptom score and asthma symptoms, but is as associated with the risk of hypersensitivity reactions and or gastrointestinal bleeding. Biologics, 
focus primarily on neutralizing specific pro-inflammatory type 2 cytokines, such as interleukin-413 uh, or uh, interleukin-5 or mediators like IgE, which are central in promoting the recruitment and activation of inflammatory cells in chronic rhinosinusitis sinusitis with nasal polyps. Biologics have been shown to reduce the size of the nasal polyps, improve nasal obstruction, relieve symptoms, improve the sense of smell and the quality of life of the patient. Based on the EPOS 2020 and the EPOS Euphoria update on Biologics in 23, the expert panel recommend Biologics in chronic rhinosinusitis sinusitis patients that are uncontrolled despite appropriate medical treatment and appropriate sinus surgery who fulfill the IPOS criteria. Biologics are a safe and effective treatment option in most severe uncontrolled chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyp patients with the need to properly select the patients given the high direct costs. We hope that these, uh, this manuscript, this statement, will help you to provide optimal patient uh, care for your patient with chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps. And thank you for listening and reading Allergy.